Hello, Bacho. Let's read the question. The question says here in the Young's uh, experiment, monochromatic light is used to illuminate the two slits A and B. Interference fringes are observed on a screen placed in front of the slits. Now, if a thin glass plate is placed normally at the path of the beam coming from slit, is what? Let's find out. So, uh, in order to solve this question, we will first draw the diagram by tracing the path of two light waves interfering due to slits at A and B at uh, some point uh, on screen and then calculate, uh, then calculate the total path difference of these two light rays and using general condition for bright fridge, we will calculate the fridge width. Okay, so let's uh, draw the diagram first. So, uh, this is the diagram where slits are represented by S1, S2 are at a, a distance of D and a screen is placed at a distance of capital D and two light waves passes through slits S1 and S2 and thin glass plate is uh, placed in the path of uh, wave going through S1. Let at point P in a bright fringe is obtained. So if there were no glass plate, then from Young's double slit experiment, we know that the path difference is written as del x is equals to S2P minus S1 P. And for bright fringe forming at point P, it has a value of del x is equals to S2P minus S1 P, which is Y D divided by capital D. This is equation one. Okay. So now, when a thing uh, glass plate is placed, then there will be extra path difference due to uh, this glass plate along uh, along the path S one P, and it will be equal to del x plate equals to mu minus one into so, a new complete path difference can be written as del x dash is equals to S2P minus S1P minus del x plate. And from equation 1, we get del x dash is equals to YD by capital D minus mu minus 1 into so now for nth bright fringe formed at point P, we have del x dash is equals to n lambda. On putting the values, we get y n d divided by capital D minus mu minus 1 into t is equals to n lambda. Okay, so here uh, y n is equals to yn is equals to d by capital D by small d into in the bracket a mu minus 1 into t plus n lambda. Now let us find the value of y for n plus 1. So we have y n plus 1 equals to capital D by small d into mu minus 1 into plus n plus 1 into lambda. So for fringe width we have beta is equals to y n plus 1 minus y n. On putting the values we get capital D by small d into mu minus 1 into t plus n plus 1 into lambda. Okay. So, uh, uh, into minus uh, capital D by small d into mu minus 1 into t plus n lambda. On solving, we get beta is equals to d lambda by small d. And we, we also know that in a Young's double slit experiment, the fringe width have a value of beta is equals to d lambda by d small d so even after placing the glass plate the width 
of fringes don't increase neither decrease okay so it will be remains constant so here option uh, d is the correct answer there will be no change in the fringe width but the pattern shift 